Hello all, this is Dr. Deeraj Masapu. I'm a senior consultant in the field of neuroanesthesiology. And uh, in this video, I would like to actually you know, talk about different good colleges for DM and DRNB in critical care medicine. So, you know, recently neat super specialty results have come out. Now you must be thinking which hospitals join. So basically before joining, so this video is applicable for any specialty. I focused more on critical care medicine, but if critical care medicine is good, that means that most of the other allied specialties also must be good in these colleges. So before choosing a specialty, if I am in your place, I would choose like this. So number one element is the clinical exposure that you get from that particular place. But that alone is not enough. Along with that, you should also have a trained faculty, skilled faculty to teach you what to do with those patients. Okay, these two are very important elements. And when these two are there, the third pillar would be the infrastructure like equipment in critical care medicine the ultrasounds and your monitor advanced monitoring technologies like cardiac output monitoring technologies and you should have a lot of ICU beds also and all this advanced equipments are required and uh, like that every specialty would uh, need that particular infrastructure and the fourth important uh, pillar is the research opportunities so you should be able to do uh, good quality research see if somebody is passing out from dm or drnb the expectation from the hospital is not like md if you just work that wouldn't be enough you have to be strong in academic side you need to have research skills so if you're not doing that there is no point of doing dm or drnb according to me okay so uh, for example if you come and apply in uh, our hospital we would ask how many publications you have done because that is the expectation from a dm or or DRNB. So research facility uh, uh, you know, mainly happens when people know how to do research. Okay, it is some not some new department. So when people know how to do research, obviously the research facility is there and a strong ethics and scientific committee should be there and all these big hospitals which I'm going to tell you would have that and along with that you should also see the uh, fees and bond okay fee should be less and bond should not be there that is the better uh, way of choosing the college location also matters uh, which has airport connectivity would have an ease of studying like any person in any part of India can study anywhere if airport connectivity is there so these are the preferences you should keep in mind when you're actually choosing a good dm or drnb college so i would start with dm so in this video what i'm going to do is i'll start with dm colleges first and then tell you the top ones and then uh, we'll discuss about the fees and bond and other uh, issues and uh, then we'll go to drnb after that after finishing the dm so first let us finish uh, so most of the recommendations i have taken from the nirf to 2024 ranking system that is a national inst institutional ranking framework which is uh, done by the ministry of education so they have factored in all the aspects which i told and then made this ranking so most of the hospitals which i am going to recommend are coming in the top 10 of this ranking okay so the number one uh, recommendation from from me for critical care in dm uh, if you're in southern part of india would be cmc velour okay the reason is uh, the good very good patient load research and it's a uh, you know historic hospital with uh, you know a lot of uh, pay yeah, it's a, it's almost like you know top hospitals in india not only in the southern part of india the second advantage that you get is the fees is very less it is around 2.5 to 3 lakhs for the total three years duration that is like uh, very very much very much less compared to other hospitals the only problem is a bond which is a two-year compulsory bond i don't think you can break because they will keep a very high penalty if you really want to break the bond so so th this also uh, if you see the nirf rating it comes in the third position in the medical category so you can understand that it is one of the top choices i think most of the toppers would be taking in this particular hospital and the second preference in the dm category uh, would be uh, sgpgi lucknow and uh, it is uh, but the problem is uh, it has a bond of two years otherwise there is uh, no issue with this and it has a rank number six in the nirf uh, rating uh, system and it is an excellent hospital i have been there for some uh, conference it's an extraordinary hospital beautiful campus and then very good food in lucknow and all that is there so if you're okay with the bond of two years you can please go ahead and take this bond penalty is one crore you get a very good stipend here okay and uh, from here i don't i don't want to rank them but all these are good hospitals okay it's ig ipgmer uh, kolkata it is a, it is a having 22nd rank in the nirf and if you are from eastern part of india and if you want to stay in calcutta this is a very good college and the tuition fees is very less 36000 only and uh, but there is a bond of uh, 
three years after completing the super specialty that is the problem or with a penalty of 30 lakhs which you are okay to pay then this is a good hospital and in private colleges sri ramachandra institute uh, comes next it is in the uh, one of one of the top uh, colleges in uh, tamil nadu and chennai and uh, but uh, the only issue is the fees is high the annual fees itself is 22 lakh rupees and uh, the advantage that you get is there is no bond attached to this particular hospital okay and uh, so otherwise the teaching in ramachandra is very good the dm program has been there you know since uh, i think uh, 2000 uh, i think 9 or uh, 10 i think they started dm program see one of the age old hospitals where dm program has been running so you don't have to worry about the academics research and all that the, all that would be there in this particular hospital kasurba medical college manipal is also a very 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 good uh, college in nirf ranking it has a ninth position and uh, it is a very good it has a very good uh, dm program in critical care medicine the only issue is the fees <coughs> fees is around 82 lakhs for three three years but i don't think any bond is there the <coughs> bond uh, is not there after the uh, uh, finishing of the dm program so if you don't want bond then ramachandra and kmc would be good options for you but fees is high that is one issue and next uh, good college is bharti vidyapeet uh, dmd university pune and this is a good hospital uh, it's a dmd university the fees is around uh, 13 lakh rupees it is annual fees so for three years it would be around uh, 39 lakh rupees and there is a one year service bond attached to it okay even this is a very good college i think one year you can do two years is too much one year you can maybe finish the next very good college would be uh, igims Patna so even this many people are taking if you want to stay in that part of the country then you can choose this uh, dm program here so then the fees would be around uh, six lakhs the fees is less and uh, the about the bond details i didn't get any information about the bond i don't think any bond is there in this particular college the next is amrita kochi it is one of the superb uh, uh, hospitals and it is uh, in nirf rating also it ranks eighth in india okay, it's in the top 10 and uh, here there is no mandatory service bond but the fees is slightly high it is around 84 lakhs for the whole tenure of three years okay amrita eyes closed you can take if you have money madras medical college chennai is uh, also top 10 in nirf rating and it is one of the best colleges in uh, tamil nadu but there is a five year rural bond uh, for mbbs graduates but there is a specific bond details given for dm candidates we don't exactly know please inquire with the particular hospital okay but i don't think uh, uh, in tamil nadu they will leave you without a bond at least one year some or something would be there please inquire before uh, joining the fees would be less because it is madras medical college it will be one to two lakhs only and and a good stipend also you would get next is st john's bangalore is a very good college it is uh, one of the top choices if you are around bangalore area fees is around 21 lakhs for the entire duration and in some sources they're saying around 11 lakhs per year you please see what is correct and uh, there is a bond of one year okay so to summarize cmc vellur sgpj lucknow and uh, ip gmer srmc kamanipal bharti vijapit igms Patna, and and uh, amrita madras middle college st john's okay we discussed about different details like total fees bond duration and uh, stipend and everything most of the hospitals have the stipends okay and uh, amrita i think it is 40 to 50 thousand madras middle college and other hospitals would have more near to a lakh st john's is little less it is around 55,000 okay so this finishes the dm list and now let us go to drnb colleges so in drnb uh, so drnb i would like to say uh, that this year people might prefer more of drnb than dm i'll tell you why number one reason is the fees most of the hospitals whatever i have seen the fees is like uh, very less it is like you know around one to two lakhs per year most of the hospitals are maximum to 2.5 lakhs per year okay and then the stipend is very good stipend in most of the hospitals are good ones are like 70 80 90 thousand and it increases every year you all know that okay and vardhaman mahavirta it is around one lakh so and there is no bond so no bond less fees good stipend so when something is there like that i think people should start coming out of that dm uh, uh you know 
uh, fanciness and think about DRNB is what I personally feel because uh, when you are applying to you know my kind of hospital and then you come up with DM and DRNB a little bit of extra value would be given to DM I don't, I don't deny that but the thing is if you are a DRNB and then if you have some research and publications and then if you are presented in some conferences then you are almost equal to a DM guy okay so that is what I can say but slight differentiation is always there okay so first let us start the DRNB program uh, Sri Gangaram Hospital New Delhi is uh, the top choice in, in the other uh, in that part of North India it has a very good stipend and fees as I discussed uh, at, uh, if you're getting Gangaram I think eyes closed you can take it and then uh, St. Stephen's Hospital New Delhi is also a very good hospital for DRNB critical care the stipend would be between 70 to 75,000 fees is around 2.25 lakhs per year there is no bond as I told Hinduja Hospital Mumbai is a very very good hospital and uh, it is good for many uh, super specialities similar stipend and similar kind of fees 1.2 lakh 5 lakhs 1.5 lakhs is the fees Apollo hospitals in general we can talk there are different Apollos most of the Apollos actually are good Chennai is good I know Kolkata Gauri all these things are good so you can choose any Apollo brand name is there Medanta Medicity Gurugam if you're taking that is the best so I think uh, uh, that is one of the best critical care medicine teams I think very big ICUs would be there and uh, the stipend is little less 60,000 per month but fees is also less 1 to 1 1.5 lakhs per month medical super specialty hospital Kolkata is also good it seems Ashwada Sikindrabad is also very good and Sarthasang VMMC okay is also a good hospital for DRNB critical care the Sarthasang uh, advantages you get a very good stipend around 90 lakhs to 1.2 lakhs every year it would be increasing and as you all know it's a government institution so you'd get lot of patients and good faculty also would be there so to summarize Gangaram, St. Stephen's, New Delhi, Hinduja, Mumbai Apollo hospitals in various locations you can take Medanta you can take Medicity Super Speciality, Kolkata, Ashwada, Sikindrabad, VMMC, New Delhi most of the hospitals would give you a very good stipend and uh, then there is no bond and fees is also less so this uh, summarizes most of the hospitals and I also told you how to choose a hospital so this I think we have come to the end of the video if you have any doubts about which college to choose and then whether to take uh, you know DM or DRNB or if you have such kind of conclusions you can take the mentoring program the link is there in the description and then We'll try to finish the mentoring. So I have a lot of pending mentoring uh, people waiting, but I'll give preference to counseling people because the counseling is a deadline date. I will finish off your mentoring session as uh, as soon as possible ASAP and uh, will help you in choosing a very good college. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, I will do some, some interviews in upcoming uh, months in, about, in these areas. Thank you very much for following the video till now. Thank you all.